Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We're actually out in the garage today. Uh, we are going to be working on a machine that I picked up probably over a year ago and really just haven't had time to, to work on it. But uh, it's this guy over here. It's a uh, Donkey Kong cocktail cabinet. And as you can see here, it's uh, pretty good shape. The cab itself has a little bit of damage on it. A couple rust spots and dents and things and things like that. Uh, but I recently picked up a uh, semi-working board for it. So it currently does play, but it's got some monitor issues. So in this episode, what we're gonna be doing is actually pulling the monitor out of this. It's a 13 inch Sanyo EZ20. We're gonna pull this monitor out. We're gonna recap the entire monitor. And we're also gonna rebuild the uh, audio amplifier because right now it's nothing but a loud, gigantic hum. So let's see if we can do this with one hand. We're gonna pick this guy up. And that kind of comes down over here. But this is it here. So we're gonna work on pulling this monitor out. We're then gonna go ahead and pull everything over here to the desk. It's a little messy right now, watching the game chasers here. But we're gonna put it here, and then this is the cap kit that we picked up from Arcade Parts or something, I don't remember. Um, here, that's what I'm buying. But this does the, uh, the chassis as well as the audio amp. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that beast out and get started. So the monitor's out, so what we gotta do now is go ahead and actually turn this. We're gonna go ahead and discharge this tube, and we're gonna go ahead and completely pull this chassis out. Um, over here, see if we can turn it around with one hand. Over here is the audio amp, this section here. We're gonna be rebuilding that whole thing as well. So the next time you see this, this chassis will be fully out and on the bench, and then we can start pulling out caps. Did wanna show real quick my uh, homemade little uh, discharge tool here. My alligator clips here, goes down to my screwdriver. We're gonna go ahead and put this under the anode cap to discharge it, and then we'll take it apart. So we're still in the process here of uh, pulling the chassis off, but you gotta love opening up old machines and seeing people's fixes. So this here is a uh, supposed to be a complete part of a chassis, but it's broken at some point, and someone ran some wires there. So it was still working. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave that alone and. Continue on with the cap kit, and we'll probably reflow that and make sure everything's good on it. But you gotta love a whole chunk of the uh, the chassis itself missing. All right, so the chassis is completely out. We can kind of see it here. Here's a better shot of that damage I was talking about. You can kind of see where it's broken and kind of gone in there. There's actually a couple of little broken spots on the chassis. Some of them are hard to see, but we'll focus on those later. But this is out. It looks like at some point some of these caps have been replaced because or replaced because some are different colors, but. Regardless, we're, we're still going to yank these guys out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the cap kit here. And we're going to go ahead and lay everything out here on a nice piece of foam. So we have everything lined up. And then we're going to start the desoldering process, getting these old caps out. All right, so we got our caps laid out here. This little baggie is for the uh, sound amp. So we'll get to those in a little bit. But this is the caps for the chassis. So we're actually, we actually are going to start out with the, uh, the sound amp. We're going to pull that apart and we'll take a look at that and talk about what we're going to desolder. Alright, so this is the EZ20 Nintendo sound amp, at least for the 13 inch. But as you can see, these caps are kind of old and dingy, so literally what we're going to do is we're going to pull all of these off. Uh, all these caps are going to come out and be replaced with these nice higher rated caps. Uh, we are also going to pull off that transistor back there and replace it as well as this one here so this whole thing will be nice and full of new caps here in a little bit so we'll go ahead and get the uh, Hakko desoldering gun out and start pulling these uh, pulling these caps out from the bottom let's get to it alright so we have the audio amp here we have the Hakko <laughs> plugged in here basically to kind of show you this process uh, we're going to flip this over here at the back of it we're going to find the cap here. We'll start with this big guy, C377, which on the audio board is a 22UF 250 volt cap, which is probably this big guy. So 22UF 250, yep. So this guy here is what we're going to be work, working on. So if we flip this over, it's these two leads right here. I'm oh, sorry. These two leads right here. So what I like to do is this is kind of old and dingy. We're going to put some flux on it. Just a little bit. Whoop. Help that. 
help the solder melt a little bit. And then we take the hot go here. Your hands are pink. Kind of do one of those guys. So here's our solder here. Trying to do this. And the idea is it sucks that solder out. So we didn't get all of it yet, so we're going to keep at it. Sometimes you do have to add solder, but we'll see if we can get it out of here. Sometimes we can get lucky. Oh, we got lucky, so cap comes out. So then literally what we do is we go down the list. We'll take the new guys here. You have a long leg and a short leg. The long leg is the positive. The short leg is the negative, so basically it'll go in like this guy. And also you can kind of see the little stripe here. It'll match the stripes right here on the board. It'll match this stripe here on the cap. So we know that that is the negative leg. So basically put that in, and then we solder that back in, and we do that whole process for the whole amp, and then also for the entire chassis. So these, these caps back here for the chassis, and these little guys here are for the audio amp. So we'll pick this back up once this whole thing is recapped and cleaned up. All right, so here is our fully rebuilt Nintendo EZ20 sound amp for a cocktail cabinet. So it's got all brand new caps in it. It's got the two new transistors in it. Um, I refloated some of the stuff that looked kind of cold. So everything is good on this. So we're going to do the same exact process on uh, the chassis over here that we did on, that, on the uh, audio amp. Now, obviously, this, this chassis is much bigger. We're going to clean some of this other stuff up, but it's going to take quite a bit longer. So... Uh, for you, it'll be instant. For me, it'll be uh, probably about an hour or so to do this. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started, and we'll pick it back up once these caps are out. All right, guys, we did it. Cap, key, cap, key, cap kit is fully in there. There's my list there. As I go through and, and finish one, I mark one off. Just finished up that last uh, bipolar cap. But it's all in there. In addition to that, I went ahead and reflowed the uh, flyback and everything else that looked dry. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reassemble this chassis into the frame. We'll go ahead and flip this over so you guys can kind of see all the new caps on the top here. going to clean a little more of the uh, top here up with some contact cleaner and things like that. But you can see all the nice new caps that we've actually put into this EZ20. So we're going to be careful as we reassemble everything, put some new uh, ties around the uh, coil on the monitor. So let's get back to, first we're going to clean that guy up, and then we're going to get back to putting this back onto the frame. Let's get started. Alright, so the frame is back on the tube. I did want to take a quick second and show something too that I learned recently that completely blew my mind, considering the amount of Japanese stuff that I work on. Uh, I don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera, but if you look at this bolt, or this screw or nut or whatever, if you look right here on the side, there's a little dot, and what that means is that is a JIS screw. So while a normal screwdriver will fit into it, you can kind of see that like a Phillips will fit into it, it doesn't go very deep. So you can get these out, but a lot of times you're going to go to turn these and they're going to strip. Um, so what you can buy, and they are a little pricey, is one of these. This is a JIS certified screwdriver. It's more for like Japanese bolts. So when you put that in there, you can see how much further down that screwdriver fits in there. It pretty much goes inside of that whole screw. So if you're working on Japanese stuff, whether it's Nintendo stuff or Sega cabs or candy cabs, and you see a screw like that with that little tiny dot on the uh, screw like that, you'll know that that's what that is. Luckily with this, I was able to get a wrench around it. It's kind of like a bolt. Um, but just a heads up, save yourself some strip screws. Go ahead and pick up a JIS certified screwdriver. You can actually get a set on Amazon if I remember to. I will link the, the set that I use. It was like 25 bucks for three little screwdrivers, but completely worth it when you're working on stuff like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this frame on and mounting the chassis on the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this piece back together. All right, so frame's pretty much all back together. One last little update we are gonna do here is on the audio board right here in VR371. We're gonna go ahead and pull that little cap out and we're actually gonna put in a uh, 50K uh, pot here. So we got my little bag of pot here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and put one of these into this little spot here. Um, it reduces hum. Thanks to my buddy Hamster for pointing that out to me. So we're gonna go ahead and swap that out. And then this little audio board is gonna go back here on its little frame. So 
let's get to it. So there we go. We've got our new little pot sitting where the old cap was, so let's put it back together. Alright, everything is sitting in there. We gotta plug the one little tiny remote board here in. Then we're gonna go ahead and power it up and see what happens. So let's get to it. Alright, so not gonna lie, I've already turned it on, so I know it works. But um we have everything on, so I want you guys to kind of check and see this out. Check and see this out. Check this out and see what I meant. So we got our little garbage home when we turn it on. So we know there's still sound issues, so we got to sort some stuff out, but monitor's gorgeous now. So we can go ahead and add credits. Press our little start button down here. So we have a working DK uh, cocktail with weird music. Check this out. If you can hear, the speaker's over here, so you should be able to hear the music, but check this out. We got our jingle, and then listen. What the hell music is that? We get no music. So this is an earlier four stack board. I just don't know. Oh, we tried to get it. We get no hammer music, no regular stage music, but we're getting jingle and barrel sounds. Trying to get that back when it goes down. There we go. So there we go, the monitor looks gorgeous. All right, guys. So that is gonna wrap it up for this episode. Uh, we do still have some, some work to do on it, but as you see, the game is playable. We do have sound effects, we still have the right music, and uh, some other weird things, but this monitor came out really really good. The whites are really white. Donkey Kong looks much better than he used to. Fireballs look great. Everything looks good on this, so all in all, a cap job, uh, cap kit actually did good here. Fix our audio. Before we had no audio, we just had a, a really loud uh, hum. I am playing this through the camera viewfinder, so don't make fun of me. Probably gonna get got here, and I have no jump button. All right. So that is going to do it for this episode, guys. As always, thank you for tuning in. Made a little bit of progress on the cocktail. As you can see, the garage is still full of projects and stuff like that. But as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode.